Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm and I am back to talk to you about the 2GIG Edge and how to get the 2GIG-FT6E-345 installed into this device as a heat detector. Very, very easy to do. Um, the requirements on this, if the temperature is more than 95 degrees for three minutes, the detector will send a transmission at that point. So pretty straightforward on this. Um, so the first thing we want to do is press the gear down in the bottom right hand corner to get us into programming and enter your installer code. Mine is 1561, which is the factory code. At this point, go ahead and scroll down and get into installer toolbox. Once you are in installer toolbox, go ahead and hit panel programming. Once in panel programming, hit wireless zones. Now you're gonna find your first available wireless zone. In my case, it's zone one, because this is a brand new panel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click equipment code. We're going to find our equipment code, which in this case should be 2065. It matches just like its, uh, its flood sensor predecessor. Whoops, I chose the wrong one here. There we go, 2065. Now make sure it's 2065. There's other flood sensors in there, but 2065 is the E-Series flood sensor, and that is what this device is, even though we are programming a heat uh, loop at this point. So once you've chosen that, go ahead and press the down arrow. You're going to choose the sensor type, in our case. We are going to be doing a 24 hour auxiliary to monitor for that. And then you're going to press the down arrow. 24 hour auxiliary means that it's going to monitor for this device 24 hours a day to find out if that rate of rise is going to be going up like that, that heat detection. So let's go ahead and choose temperature and then press the down arrow. It's going to ask for the TXID. At this point, you just learn it in. So you're going to hit learn. On the bottom of this device, there's three gold little probes. You just press those down, it learns it in. You hit accept. Now it's gonna ask you for your loop number after you press the down arrow. On this one, it is gonna be a loop two for heat detection. After you've chose that, go ahead and press the down arrow. It's gonna ask for the voice descriptor. We'll call this basement, heat, done. That's our voice descriptor, hit the down arrow. It's gonna ask for a chime. You don't need one in this case, hit the down arrow. Smart areas assignment, this is where you partition your system. We don't need to, because this is only one partition. Hit the down arrow. Transmission delay, this is where you can add an additional delay on the sensor beyond the actual delay that's already there. In this case, I don't want that, so I'll disable it. Now we'll go down, press the down arrow. Sensor reports enabled. This is where it will enable the reporting of this device to the central station. You want that on unless you are trying to self-monitor a sensor. In that case, you can disable it. Press the down arrow. Sensor supervised. This means that the system will be checking for the sensor. It'll be pinging it, making sure that it's checking in properly and doing what it's supposed to. Once that's done, hit the back arrow all the way out of programming because it has been learned in. Back to the home screen. You are ready to go. This device is learned in and you can mount it and it's ready to transmit for heat. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything at all, leave them below. Take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.